Landscape Fabric. Is this something you should use in the garden? This product is also called the Weed Barrier Cloth. And this is how it's advertised to work in your garden. You place it on the ground and cover it with mulch. Weeds that are already in your soil can't grow through the cloth, so they die. Weeds can't grow on top of the cloth, so any sprouting seeds also die. Voila! No weeds! I've written about this a number of times in my blogs, and I get three groups of people responding. I get the landscape people. They love the material. After all, they're getting paid to apply it. And when they leave your garden, your garden looks really good. I also have new gardeners. They like the material. And these people have generally had it for a year or two, and yeah, it seems to be working. The third group are gardeners that have been around for a little while. They've experienced the material long term. They've also moved into homes where their previous owner had applied it to the garden, and then they had to take it out. That third group of gardeners hate this stuff. And I'm here to tell you, there's almost no use for this stuff in the garden. All right, its main function is to keep weeds out of the garden. So does that work? Well, in getting ready for this video, I got on Google and looked at a bunch of products. And I found one product that actually advertises that it works. The heading says, Landscape Fabric, 20-year weed-free guarantee. I thought, wow, this stuff's got to be super special. But if you read the fine print, they don't guarantee any weed-free condition. In fact, the fine print says this fabric will not degrade for 20 years and help control weeds in your garden. That's not exactly the same thing as guaranteed no weeds for 20 years. So why does this product not work? Well, if I put the barrier down on top of soil, then any weed seeds that are in the soil and sprout, they can't grow through it. So it does stop those weeds. If you have perennial weeds that are in the ground, they will either push their way through the fabric or they go around the outsides, wherever you have slits or areas where you've overlapped it. That's where the weeds come out. In most applications, you're going to cover this weed barrier with some sort of mulch, something like wood chips. After a year or two, those wood chips start to degrade and you have a lot of fine material in there. You also get dust and other plant debris landing on there and it decomposes. Now you've made a perfect seed bed right on top of the plastic. Wind brings the weed seeds in, they germinate, and they grow like crazy there. The product simply doesn't stop weeds from growing. But it will look good for a year or two until the organic matter settles in there and makes a weed bed. After that, lots of weed. The other big problem with this material is that it's mostly solid plastic with some small holes in it. So when it rains or you irrigate, the water lands on it and runs off. Very little of the water actually goes into the soil. That means that the plants under the weed barrier are dry all the time. That's simply not good for plants. You also have a decrease in the amount of air exchange with the soil. Now, I don't think that's as critical, but it is taking place. With this plastic laying on the soil, you don't have air exchange. And what happens is larger animals like dewworms and insects, they leave the area. The reason we use wood chips for mulching a garden is that we want those to prevent weeds and also to slowly decompose. That decomposed material improves our soil. If we have a plastic layer between the wood chips and the soil, it can't get into the soil and your soil doesn't get any better. You lose a big benefit from the wood chip. Now, some people like to use this on permanent plantings and they'll lay it out and then cut small slits and plant in those slits. Or if the plantings are already there, they'll just lay the plastic on top and cut the slits in the right place. Seems like a good idea, but again, we have a problem here. As soon as you make slits in this plastic, you now have an opening where all the weed seeds collect. So in the center you have your perennial, and all the way around is where all the weeds grow. And once those weeds are in the crown of the perennial, they're hard to get rid of. And there's no water getting to your plants. Now if you've done that, and now it's in the garden for two or three years, and you come along and say, well, I want to replace a plant, or I want to put in some new plants. This plastic is always in the way. As your perennials get larger and larger, they don't have room because the slits aren't big enough. And the stuff is made from plastic. Do you really need more plastic in the garden? 
here's where it becomes a real problem. You can put this down and it sort of works for a few years. The longer it's there, the more weeds you'll get. And at some point you decide, well, I want to get rid of it. I want to pull it out. That's a big job because what happens is that all of your permanent plantings, particularly tree and shrub roots, they're growing under this plastic and they actually grow into the plastic and grab it and hold on to it. It becomes next to impossible to get out. And the only way to get it out of your garden is to cut it out into smaller pieces and rip the roots as you're pulling it out. That's why more experienced gardeners hate this stuff so much. At some point, they've had to take it out, either because they put it in or somebody else put it in. But at some point, it has to come out, and that's a big job that does a lot of plant damage. So is there a place for landscape fabric? Well, there are a couple applications that work. If you've gone to a nursery, you might have seen some of this material laying down on the soil. You're walking on it, and it's put down between the shelves where the plants are sitting. It's not covered with anything, and in that case, it does prevent weeds from growing. As dirt collects on top, it's just swept away once in a while, and so it does work there. It would also work as pathways, provided you don't cover it with anything. If you put the plastic down flat, leave it exposed, it will control the weed. Personally, I don't want to walk on plastic in my garden. That's why I wouldn't use it there. But it would work in that application. My last comment about this fabric is that it looks ugly in the garden once it's exposed. And it always becomes exposed. At some point, no matter how much mulch you put on, that mulch either decomposes or gets moved. And then you see the bare landscape fabric sticking up and it's just so ugly. All right, so you have some in the garden. What should you do? Well, if it was me, I would make it a priority to pull it all out and get rid of it. You don't need it. If you're trying to keep weeds under control, use a proper mulch. In a vegetable garden, I like to use straw as my mulch. But in an ornamental bed, I do things a little differently. And I explain all of that in this video right here. Happy gardening.